In this video, traders, we're going to look at what is triangular arbitrage in the FX market. Stay tuned. Hey, traders and investors, a very warm welcome to you. OK, so triangular arbitrage. First of all, what is arbitrage? Arbitrage is literally the process of buying and selling an instrument that has exactly the same value for different prices for a short term price anomaly gain. In other words, one price is trading at 10. The other one is trading at 11. It's exactly the same product or instrument or market. We are going to buy it at 10. We're going to sell it at 11 or we're going to sell it at 11 and buy it at 10. This existed years ago in the futures markets when futures were trade on different exchanges. It exists now in electronic markets, but on a much, much much shorter time frame. The easiest thing to do is to run through an example and let's see how that could work in the currency market. It's not necessarily in the currency, by the way. This is triangular arbitrage, which is making three different currency pairs all linked together to give us a price and find if there's an arbitrage opportunity there. Other arbitrage might be just between two instruments, or it might even be more than three. We might have a many, many multiples and we're just going across and we're taking advantage of the anomaly between the supply demand of each instrument. And that's why this occurs, by the way, guys. Supply demand might shift one more than the other, then the others haven't yet caught up and there's a little short term ARB and they will eventually catch up as the ARB uh, irons itself out. All right, so we need three or more FX pairs. Let's focus on three for now. Uh, for example, we could have Euro US dollar, US dollar GBP, Euro GBP. You can see how these are all linked together. You buy one, you sell the other, you sell one, you buy the other, you sell one, buy the other, you end up with a neutral position. And hopefully, if there's an ARB opportunity there, you end up with a little bit of profit. So the idea is if the implied cross, don't forget guys, we're quoting in base and counter or quote currency. So we've got a base currency and then we've got a quote currency or we've got a counter currency. So that's always going to give us the link. And that's the thing we have to often get our head around with FX is that we have, we have one instrument, but it's still two currencies. And that's why this ARB opportunity exists. So if the implied cross, which basically the implied price of the cross based on the other two is, is not equal to the actual cross quote, and an arbitrage opportunity exists. Best thing to do is to run through an example. All right, so we've got Euro US dollar, Euro GBP, and GBP USD. Okay, we can see how these are all interlinked. They're all the same. We've got our base currencies, we've got our counter currencies, and our, or our quote currencies. So US, US dollar is, is trading at 1.1325, Euro pound is trading at 0 0.7805, and GBP USD is trading at 1.4528. How do we execute this trade? So we go out with our 10,000 10, euros, and we would buy 10,000, uh, we'd buy 10,000 at 1.1325 for $11,325. We'd then sell 10,000 euros at zo uh, zero, 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 at zero or 0 0.7805 to get 7,805 pounds. But we'd then use those pounds and we buy 7,805 pounds at 1.4528 to give us $11,339, which is $14 higher or more than 11,325 in our initial trade, giving us a $14 profit per 10,000 euro trade, giving us an arbitrage opportunity. Now, do these present themselves very often in the market? No, they do not. These aren't really, really frequent events. And guys, people with high frequency algos, people with great low latency feeds, people with all this stuff are way ahead of it. So can we do it as a retail trader? Unfortunately, it's very, very, very unlikely. But understanding this and knowing and looking at it a little bit more, maybe drawing out a little bit yourself on a bit of paper and kind of working it out and seeing how it works, will give you an idea of maybe how currencies are moving when actually it might be other pairs that are moving, but they're ultimately affecting the pair you're trading because there's a link there with the triangular arbitrage. If these two pairs are moving on their own merit, as it were, euros moving against US dollar and pounds moving against you, you know, these are gonna move as well in theory you know, in theory, you could have the US dollar just moving and moving this, but then it might it could affect your Euro GBP trade. So you need to understand the relationship between the three. Now, the obviously the big risk with arbitrage opportunities like this is the execution risk. And even guys with high frequency trading algos, co-located servers and all that kind of stuff still have a risk that they've got leg one on, they've got leg two on, they're about to put leg three on and the price moves. You know, that price has only got to move very, very slightly and the arb is gone. So they've got to execute them all simultaneously. They've got to have uh, layers of, of, of kind of uh, defense, so to speak, in the algo that won't execute unless it can definitely execute them all. 
Uh, and of course, you've got the size risk. You know, they might, they're not going to do it for $14. They're going to do it for some serious size. And so they might get to a point where they can't get all the size on they want. So they get size on they want that one, that one, but not that one. Then they're stuck. And then of course, it becomes a uh, losing opportunity. So the margin is very, very slim. It's risk free in terms of you're not speculating on the direction of a specific currency or a specific currency pair, but there is still inherent risk with the execution risk and the size risk and other little hidden risks in it as well. So that's your triangular arbitrage, guys. Uh, other arbitrage does exist, but this is interesting. Don't forget, you can also do it with multiple currency pairs, not just three. All right, see you in the next one. Take care. Keep your risk managed. Good trading. Bye-bye.